What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to learn how to create a detail view. So last video, uh, we have learned how to create a callout view. So this time around, it's detail view. So in this exercise, we need to create an electrical riser diagram to indicate how the electrical panels are connected. So you use a building model to create a detailed view of the electrical panels. So you tag the electrical panels, add detail lines, tag note, uh, text notes, and callouts. Okay, so that is what we are going to do. So we will be creating a section view. We are going to add tags to electrical panels. We are going to add detail lines to connect the electrical panels and add text notes and callouts. Okay, so let's do this one. So as you can see, I'm here on the uh, level 2 power plan. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a section. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in to this part here. So I want to create a detail, uh, detail view of this portion here. So I'm going to create a section. So from the uh, quick access toolbar, so there's this section. So let's select that one. Let's check the properties. So I'm creating a detail view section. The type is detail view. So I'm going to pick one point here. And then I'm going to pick another point here. And it's looking to the side there. So I'm going to flip that to look to the left side. There you go. And then I'll just adjust this. Okay. Right. Okay, so by the way, if you want to have this exercise file, so you just need to put a comment in this video and then just put your email address there. And then I'll be sending you the exercise file so that you'll be able to follow it. Okay, so after we create the section, so I'm going to open now the section. Okay, so I'm going to click, right click, and then I'm going to select uh, <clears throat> go to view. All right, so go to view, and there you go. So by the way, on my project browser here, I'm going to expand the detail views here because that is our uh, detail view. So let us rename this one. I'm going to call this uh, electrical riser diagram. Okay, enter. There you go. Okay, now I'm going to adjust this one. I want to see also the other uh, panels above. Okay, just like that. Okay, so now we are going to add tags to our electrical panels. Okay, so let's put uh, some tag here. So from the quick access toolbar, I'm going to select tag by category. Click that one. And then I do not want to add a leader line here. So I uncheck that. And then I'm just going to, how about I make it vertical? Okay, so instead of horizontal, so I can have a space there. There you go. So we just need to pick. The electrical panel that you have placed all right so let's pick that one there you go and then select modify okay now the next thing that we are going to do is um we are going to add detail lines to connect the electrical panels since this is a, just a detailing the lines that we will be creating it's just a 2d okay you will not be able to see this in 3d view all right so we will be using a detail lines here. So I select the annotate here, right? And then from the detail panel, so you can now see there the detail line. So let's select the detail line. So as you can see, this is only, uh, you can only see this on the view where you have created it because this one is a view specific line. So if I draw it on my section view, I can only see the detail line on the section view. You will not be able to see that in other view. If you draw your detail line in the floor plan, you will only see that on the floor plan. That's what uh, view specific lines means. Okay? So I select detail line. And then I'm going to select the type here. So make sure I select here the wide lines. So I click that wide lines. Okay, so before that, let me just cancel this one first. I'll just adjust this one. Okay, let me just adjust this. Right. Oh, something like this. All right. So let me go back again to the detail line, wide lines. So I want to show a connection for my panel. 
pp and uh, p2 okay and then i'll just trim that trim extend to corner and there you go okay so there's the representation that this pp and p2 is connected so i'm now going to add more details to here so same with my panel here so again uh, detail line so i connect and then place it here and then place one there okay and i also wanted to show this connection here there you go and then from my lp i want that to be connected on my lp1 oops just tidy up your drawing okay so detail line so where else okay so i want to connect my pp-1 and to my transformer here okay so same with this here you can use uh, you can select the lines and then you can use the arrow to move or to nudge the the details the detail line okay so it's straight one again right connect there you have it okay so what else okay so i want to connect my lp1 to the t-1 okay so you get the idea so you just connect it right now the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to create another uh, detail line so let me just adjust the boundary of my section here i want to do something here okay so i select again the detail line uh, wide lines and then i'll be using a rectangle here so rectangle and then i'll just approximate so right just like that okay okay so let's say I'm just gonna put the size here okay so I'll just put four feet by three feet okay there you go okay and then after that uh, let us put another lines so let's select the line right click create similar Okay, so let's create one here. Connect, connect. There you go. Connect. There you go. And then I'm going to uh, select this line and then just nudge it to the right. So I want to add more details. So select that line. You can type CS to create similar. CS. So let's say this will gonna be my ground here. It would be better if you have a family here for this type of like for example for this uh, ground here or for this symbol. Okay, and then the next thing that we are going to do after we show the connection, after we add some detail lines, so let's add some text notes. Okay. So I'm going to add the text here. So I select the text. And then um, the size of the text. Okay, so I'll just use this one. I can change the size later on if I can see that it's too small or it's too big. I can just change from here. Okay, I can create one if I want to have a new type of text. So for now, I'm just going to make sure that no leader here is selected. And then I'm going to pick here. And then I call this uh, utility socket okay and then I'll just click outside there you go right so the text here is too big so what I'm gonna do is um, I'm going to create a new type so edit so create so how about I select here OK and then I'll type the text here. 
about 200 mm. Let's try this one. Okay, so it's 2 mm. So it's too big. So 2 mm. Okay. It's still big. Okay, so how about <coughs> 1 mm? Enter. Okay, so I think this one is is about right. There you go. Okay, so I select this one and then edit type. Let's rename this. Okay. So this is one mm aerial or whatever size that you want okay so you can just that's how you create it okay so now after that let us add some more details so let's say for example here so I'm going to add text text to pad mount uh, transformer so, oh, sorry Click that. Then let's put here. All right. So I'll just change the justification. I select uh, a line right. Then I'll just make it like this. Just nice. There you go. Okay. And then let us add some more details. So like here. So I'm going to change the text here with a leader so I call this this is our ground rod okay right so aside from that aside from changing the text type here you may want to change also the scale here if you do not want to create a new type of text like the one that I did because it doesn't look nice some of the text here is quite big compared to that one so maybe I can just change the scale here so about uh, one inch to one foot let's try this one okay so that one is too small okay how about 332 mm one inch no one fourth okay so I think one fourth one fourth inch to one foot and then I'll just change this type so I'll just put the default one the 3 over 32 inch aerial then let's just adjust it okay so that it's tidy all right so basically that's how you create uh, details to your model okay so you can create a section and then you can add details by using the annotate tab here and then here you can find the detail tab a uh, detail panel and then from here you can use the detail line okay so on our next exercise we're going to learn how to create a drafting view okay so hopefully you learn something from this video if you have any comments questions or suggestions you can put it on the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can thank you for watching have a nice day